howdy folks, it's Simon Godhelf here, and I'm here with a demo of these two great products from ADA. The first one is the MP1 channel, which is a pedal version of the famous MIDI preamp from the 80s and 90s. In fact, I had no less than two of these preamps myself back then, so I really know that sound, and this pedal just captures it just like I remember, and it sounds great, I think. You heard it on all the guitars in the first track in this video, and when I made that track, I didn't use any amps or cabinets or microphones. I just went from the MP1 channel and straight into this guy right here. It's the GCS2 Guitar Cabinet Simulator. And then I went from here and into my Fireface. So let's check out how I got those sounds in the first track. Okay, so the first riff I played in the opening track in this video, I was going for this great classic crunchy rock tone that's great with the Gibson Les Paul. Lots of string definition and some nice punch. <laughs> Yeah, so for the lead tone in the first track, I was going for this big 80s, 90s stereo tone with uh, lots of gain, a bit less mids, and uh, I added some stereo delay and reverb in the mix to get this really killer tone, I think. <laughs> Uh, with the tone controls on the MP1 channel, you can really fine-tune your tone. So now I got a new guitar, the Gibson Les Paul, tuned down to D, and I got the same kind of gain as I had before on the MP1 channel, but now I have the mids turned all the way down for a really scooped, overdriven tone. <laughs> So all the overdriven guitars in the first track was recorded with the MP1 channel in distortion mode or distortion voicing. Of course, the MP1 channel delivers great clean tones too, so let's check that out. Okay, so the MP1 channel into the guitar cabinet simulator works great for recording. Or you can use the MP1 channel on your pedal board as your favorite overdrive or distortion pedal and just run it straight into the front end of your favorite amplifier and it sounds great. I'll show you that in a minute. Or you can use it just like I used the old rack mount version back when I had that. Um, I had an old Marshall head that I used as a slave. So you can use this as a preamp into a power amp and into a cabinet and get a really, really great killer tone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so maybe you've got a favorite amplifier and you really want to record with that amplifier or play live gigs with that amplifier, but the volume can be a problem. The GCS2 really works for that purpose too. If you have a dedicated line out of your amplifier or you have a load box with a line out, then you can run that into the GCS2 and from here into the computer or to the front of house if you're playing a live gig. <laughs> Okay, so with this great box, the GCS2, you can have your amp set up the way you like, dial in the preamp just the way you like it, and uh, then take a line out from your amplifier and go straight into the GCS2. And then from here to the front of house or to the computer. And uh, you have your great amp sound set up, and then the, uh, the GCS2 allows you to choose between vintage and modern 12 inch or 10 inch speaker, uh, sealed or open back cap, and this uh, knob right here lets you decide how close or how far you want to be from the center of the speaker. Well folks, that's about it for this video about the wonderful MP1 channel, a really really great guitar preamp I think, and the GCS2 guitar cabinet simulator, great great product, both are ADA, do go to the ADA website and check out all about these products. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel and check out my other demo videos. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. I appreciate it. See ya.